Archbishop Richard Foskin here. We're having a special guest on the show, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He stands at the door and knocks. Come on in, Jesus. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Archbishop, I mean, uh... Hi, Archbishop. Hello, Jesus. It's good to have a seat. I made you some coffee, too. Thank you, Archbishop. Thank you. I want to sit over here and watch you from the rocking chair. Oh, th thanks, Archbishop. Thank you. So, what would you like me to read them, Archbishop? The Thessalonians. Explain to them why Paul is such a hypocrite and a fool in comparison with few of the other preachers that we have nowadays. Yes, I will do that. After all, let's lock it up so Satan doesn't come in while we have our backs turned. Get thee behind me, Satan! I don't know you're So, uh. <laughs> uh okay, he's not tapping. Ah, he's just a nice. Jesus here, my friends. Uh, I'm here to. My friends, it seems the uh, Archbishop has realized, and he doesn't know how to get through to you people, so he asked for me to come down because there's nothing impossible when you ask in my name to the Father. So here I am, I've appeared unto ye. Thessalonians, we're going to read from the first chapter. The Archbishop was just going to read Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5, but I'm going to read starting from the beginning. To show you, we're going to do a little name change just to show you because a lot of you people don't seem to understand. Paul was not about me. Paul was an imposter. He's the Antichrist. Well, he's one of the top ones. And there were a lot of his followers that developed from there. Especially Benny Sin Ministries. You know, Benny Hinn from the shows on television you've seen swindling people's money for years in my name. And don't forget some of the other prize guests that I will mention in these very scriptures. Yes, we're going to change a few of the names just so that your eyes might be open to the truth of where Satan really hides. stiff on the way down thanks father on the way down it got a little whew, a little breezy up there so first thessalonians chapter one let's see how this swindler talks let's change paul's name to another person's name paul i mean benny sin from sylvanus and uh let's Change Timotheus's name to, yes, Benny Hinn and Sylvanius. Well, we'll leave his name. Yeah, Slick Sylvanius and Timotheus. Uh, Kevin Copeland. Eh. Mm, I know what to do. Benny Hinn and Robert Tilton. And Kenneth Copeland unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father. No, he wasn't, folks. No, he wasn't. My father did not have anything for these guys. These guys were on their own. In the Lord Jesus Christ. No, I had nothing to do with these guys, believe me. Benny Sin, Kenneth Copeland. Robert Tilton, I had nothing to do with these guys. They're claiming that they're doing this in my name. Didn't I tell you that there is going to be people saying uh, that they were of Christ? Coming in my name? This is exactly what I'm talking about. We give thanks. Oh, grace unto you. Already they're fooling you. Hey, buddy. Grace unto you. The alien said, peace. We come in peace, you know. 
Grace unto you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. No, I had nothing to do with that. Are you people getting this? We give thanks to God always for you. No, you don't. No, they didn't. They were lying to you the whole time. We give thanks to God always for you, making mention of you in our prayers. How many of your Christian so-called friends say, I'll pray for you, and you never hear from them again? And did the prayers even work? Jeez, do I even need to go through a whole Thessalonians to show you that you've been swindled? You've been heisted by the shysters? Thanks, Archbishop. This is pretty good. No problem. Is it delight to make it for you, Jesus? Thank you. Let your blessings continue. So then, uh, we give thanks always to you, making mention of you all, even the ones in the tornadoes and floods. Yes, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, making mention of you in our prayers. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God our Father. It's the sight of God and our Father. You know, these guys, they're not in heaven, okay? They're not in heaven. They're no good. And, uh... They use them false names. They're kissing your, they're trying to kiss your ass so that you believe that they're on your side. Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. Yes, we know that you're going to be in heaven with us. Broken liars! For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in the power and in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I've seen your ceremonies, Benny Hinn, Benny Sin, Robert Tilton, tilting the money in his favor, and Kenneth Doplin buying planes and probably shipping some dope and receiving some at the same time. Oh, he's claiming he got some oil wells too down there now. <laughs> no, these were not my men. You get the idea when you say Paul and Sylvanius and Timotheus, they're the same as Benny Hinn. Yes, I said your name, you creep. Benny Hinn, Benny Sin Ministries, Robert Tilton. He's not around anymore. He's very old. But you can look back at some of his. And, oh, Kenneth Copeland. What a dope blend. You see some of them healing services there? Oh yeah, he's kicking ass. What a fake. And you people that believe in him and even going to say that, well, I can't judge his heart. And you don't even have any Holy Spirit if you can't see that. You're just holy, hole so big, falls out your backside. Still slipping on your ego pride. So, you need to let this shit go. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. But I'm telling you, Jesus is telling you, this isn't what I had to do with. I had nothing to do with this Paul guy. But I warned you about him. At least in the scriptures I did, whether I was real or not. The scriptures let you know about this guy. Yes, for gospel came not unto you in word daily, not only, not unto you in word only, but also in power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Benny Hinn's knocking people over with his jackets now. That's how evolved his power got. That's how devolved your minds got. Let's continue. Yes, and in the Holy Ghost, Holy Placebo Effect Ghost. Oh, yeah, that feeling's real. That's why you're all confused. And in much assurance. Much assurance. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> oh, yeah. And in much.
much assurance. <laughs> yeah, let that thumbnail be on today. <laughs> yes, much assurance. As ye you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. For your sake we came unto you and started the churches, made the rules and the doctrines for fools. And ye became followers of us. <laughs> oh, that's what it says here. Uh, yeah. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord. Because of course we're of the Lord. <laughs> of course we are of the Lord. Let me just put that in the collection plate. You know what to do. <laughs> Let the healing begin. Yes. Uh, we're not going to be able to get through all this tonight. I can tell you that you just can't handle Can't handle the truth here. Having received the word in much affliction. Oh, such pain we bore for these. <laughs> yes, with joy of the Holy Ghost, though. What a bunch of false humility, Mr. Benningham. Soon. So that ye were in samples. All that believe in Macedonia and Achachia. <laughs> yeah, you're in samples, all right. <laughs> you're a sample of the experiment that's continuing today. Yes. Show them what you got there. A little piece of your mind there. <laughs> Whoa! I almost knocked over my drink. Get the tail out of my drink. Come on now. Come on now. Show them what you got. There's your bunch of assholes. That's your... Here, put that down there. Okay. All right, here you go. So, uh, yes. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Acacia, but also in every place your faith to God word is spread abroad. So that we need not to speak anything. You see, we've trained you well. Right? Get out there and spread the gospel. Do it now. Be ye not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You saw what I did. I'm going to tell you. I went to them with much content and made their minds bent. They fought against me, but I, I knew the Holy Spirit was telling me to go out and kick some holy ass. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, but also in every place your faith, God would, and spread abroad. Yes. And that we need not to speak anything anymore because you are well groomed. For they themselves shoo us. Yeah, in the healing service, they shooed you. <laughs> Kick your. Yes, for they themselves shoo us. What manner of entering in we had unto you. <laughs> yeah, they got in your church. We got in your church and we took everything, including your minds. Yeah, we entered in all right. That's what that verse means, folks. Yes. No more holy lighting here. Yes, my friends. That's good enough. Ah, uh, yeah. Show us a manner of entering in, and we had unto you. They had you all right. And how ye turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and to wait for his son from heaven. <laughs> You keep on waiting. It's been over 2,000 years. I just came down for one reason today. For the Archbishop. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Yes, sir. How ye turned in, uh, turned to God from idols and served the living and true God. 
and to wait for his son from heaven, which he raised from the dead, even Jesus. Isn't that what you're talking about? Even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. No, from the wrath of my heavenly father. My father wasn't out to get you. Why did they tell you that? Jeez, he gave you free will. He was already in you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You didn't, you didn't need anything. Who told you you needed anything? Everything was already instilled in you. They told the one-eyed farmers are never too far. They want to steal everything that you already are. It was yours to plant and develop your own garden. Well, they took your seeds by giving you these curses to feed. Oh, man. And, and they used you through their greed. <laughs> you just ain't getting it. Some of you waking up, though. Some of you quick... Pickle jars of indoctrination. May they be broken. <sighs> yes. Chapter 2. Thessalonians chapter 2. First Thessalonians chapter 2. For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you. <laughs> oh, they came in unto you, all right. <laughs> that it was not in vain. No, they had their plans and reasons why they came into you. Benny Sin Ministries, Robert Tilton, and Kenneth Doplin Copeland. Yes, but even after that we suffered before and were shamefully entreated. Oh, the false humility, my friends. We were shamefully entreated. And ye you know at Philippi, <laughs> yeah, you're full of pie, all right, shit pie. We were bold in our Lord God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. Yes, they tried to come against us, but we kept... That's what contention means. Even though they argued, as much arguing about what we were saying. We were boldly... Yeah, they pushed themselves on you. It wasn't my father or me, okay? I was the guy that was telling you to not fall into this stuff. Yes, for our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanliness. <laughs> you believe these guys? You Christians to believe that when Paul wrote Thessalonians, if it was even Paul, you believe this guy? If anybody else talked to you this way, Benny Hinn, Robert Tilton, or Kenneth Copeland, would you believe them? These were, these are preachers. These are best. What makes Paul any different? These are words. You believe this sucker? Be it unto thee then. Be it unto thee. Yes. Not of any cleanness. Not in guile. They are done over try, trying to trick you. But later on he says he was. I'm going to get to that. Paul did say later that he tricked you with guile. Yes, for our ex exhortation was not of deceit, not of uncleanness, nor in guile or trickery. But later on, he says that he did trick people, and he stole from other churches for you. Yes, it's in your Bible. The th thing that you don't read all, only the bits and pieces that sound good from your pastor so you can control your mind. Wake up. You're not, you don't believe in me. You're not Christians. You're something else, though. You really are something else. You are of the father, the devil. That's what you are. Sadly. Because that's what he uses. Good-hearted people, because he gets a thrill out of fooling good-hearted people. Stop right there. Let me continue on this. But as we allowed of God to put, put in trust with it, but as we were allowed of God, no, no, no. God didn't allow them. They pushed her through way with deceit, the opposite of what they said. Oh, we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel. Really? Do you hear this? Would you believe Biden if he said this? Or Trump for that matter? Would you believe any president that said this? You, oh, well, so-and-so said it. I believe him. And he was allowed of God to be put in trust of the gospel or the good news. You're going to let a man tell you what the good news of God is? Fools. Even so we speak. So that's why we speak it. See? 
not as pleasing men, but God, which trieth our hearts. Really? Benny Hinn says that too. It's all God telling him this. He's got a word of the Lord. You believe him? Why do you believe this guy? You can't even see this guy. These are words written to indoctrinate the first Christians, so they say. These are indoctrinations. Can't even see them. They don't have last names. At least Benny has in. Well, now it's evolved to Benny Sin. And, uh, yes, uh, not as pleasing men, but God. How, saying that they, they, no, no, my father's not pleased with these people. Okay, I'll tell you straight out. Which trieth our hearts. Uh, he's not trying your hearts. You know you're getting away with shit. You don't even believe in any God. Uh, you just, you made yourself just swindlers. Because you knew that other people would believe. You're a heister. For neither at any time used we flattering words. You're doing it right now. As ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness to us. Oh, really? God told me the opposite. Anyway, folks, uh, but we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishing her child. Is this guy talking to adults? Folks, This if, if, read the rest of these chapters, and if you believe this bullshit, you're a fool if you think Paul was not just like Benny Sin Ministries. Read it. Got more to come. Got more to come. I have to go now. They stand at the door and knock for me over here now. I'm the present greeting. Holy eternal, I'm the present greetings. Praise the Lord. See you later. I forgot something. Archbishop, I just wanted to thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Thank you very much. You come back next time to read the rest of the other scriptures. Thank you.